Hello and welcome as it is the uh, 15th day of uh, November 2020. Uh, and the Bitcoin Cash fork has occurred today. It's uh, 3 p.m. Eastern as of the time of this video. Probably the last video till 10 p.m. Eastern I'm going to do one. And we've seen uh, Bitcoin Cash have a decent fall against Bitcoin. A lot of other currencies have against such because, I mean, this is against Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at a gain, so a lot of other ones are going down against the rising currency, thus against the dollar. If we uh, change this up to the USD, uh, just do, we might as well do this one here. You can see it's just a more, you can see it was a head and shoulders. It's just sideways range. It hasn't, it's been in this since. Um, most pretty much the entire year with some major support and maybe we'll test it again at 2 like 19 area even a little bit lower than that 215 it's been attempting to support this resistance here at like 2 uh, I guess you can call it now where we are at 238 but uh, as it goes again the price really hasn't been moving much for like a long time and I've been noticing this I don't trade it as often as other currencies with other as I as I trade of course this against uh a lot of other ones. Let me just see. Maybe Huobi's got more data. But 0.015 is the price. So 1.5% of the price of Bitcoin is what Bitcoin Cash is worth. There's no trading on Binance as of yet. It's so early that it takes a little bit. I haven't even looked to see if I get my... Because I pretty much set all my Bitcoin Cash. Pretty much everything. Like 98% of it. 99% of it. To Binance. I'm going to withdraw. I've checked already. Oh, let's go withdraw. Nope. Can't withdraw yet. But I will as, as soon as I possibly can. Yobit always has these things trade early. And gives me an idea of where the prices are at. And this is the chart for it. I mean, it, this is 7 a.m. I think it starts at here. 7 o'clock. That's when it happened. And the price shot right up to well over the 0.01 number. 1% right there. So you can, hey, that could work out well for me if that's what the value of it's going to be. I I very much dislike the idea of having coins on the exchange. And I was reading on Trezor how it wasn't being supported. I think we have to do if you have them on Trezor or such. If it's something good, you almost have to find some sort of like BCHN wallet, put the private keys into what your Bitcoin cash, and then. The amount of Bitcoin cash I had at 7 a.m. would be there. I think that's how it would work. And to do that, you'd pretty much beforehand, you'd withdraw everything out of the wallet. And because you're giving them your private keys, you put that in a new wallet, have new private keys, and never use that wallet again. But this way, you would put your private keys and get your BCHN and so on and so forth. But if it's trading at 1% of the price of Bitcoin, I get a decent score on it. I get a good, really good, decent, noticeable four figure score. Very good, high four-figure score actually. But I don't know what's going to be. I don't know where I mean, where the market's going to come in. Or I, I'm still trying to think. How am I going to am I going to do this? How am I going to trade it? Do I trade a little bit here? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, one thing you could do is just I could sell half of each, put it into something else, and then wait to see what happens. I don't know. I got time to think about it. I got no, nothing I can do right now uh, until I get it. Let me just take a look to see uh, some shorter term time frame. I guess there's nothing much I can do. I'm not a big Yobit fan, but they've had some interesting... If, if you've ever been on this site, every single time there's been a fork, it's been so profitable. Especially, I don't know if you can remember, but there was this Litecoin, ca Litecoin cash is what they called it. There was a huge fork like a few years ago. Just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But uh, anyways, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll be back again around 10 p.m. Eastern time. Bye-bye.